Hey everyone, we're Tom and Bunny from Tom's Trips, your leader in adult travel. And we are semi-live here in the Tom and Bunny studio. Somewhere in the heart of Indiana. Yes. <laughs> Northern Indiana. Yep. So today we're going to be talking about... Desire. And temptation in Cancun, Mexico. Yes, and soon to be in the Dominican Republic. Yes, so they're going to be opening a desire and a temptation in the Dominican Republic. So everyone talks about, well, we're always talking about hedonism in Jamaica and going to desire in Cancun. Now here's another adult destination. Yes, and from what I've seen by doing a little bit of research, it looks like Temptations will be opening there in October of 2022. Okay, so now... People want to know all the skinny about temptation and desire. So currently in Cancun, there's two desires. There's mm -hmm. the Desire Riviera Maya. Yes. And Desire Pearl. So they, and then you have Temptation Resort. So if you were to do a top tier, mid tier, and below mid tier, I don't want to say bottom or anything. <laughs> no, Because no, no. they're all three great resorts. They're all three great resorts, and they're all three different. Yes. So starting off, this, um, Temptation Resort, that's kind of like your party resort. Mm -hmm. They do allow single guys, and it is topless optional. Yes, and only at the pool. And they don't... They, they advertise more adult versus pineapple yes right though a lot of people we know that are pineapple go there because of the sheer price right and absolutely and what you do in your own room is what you do in your own room right now they have parties pool parties they all three have their own uniqueness about them mm -hmm. so obviously for the best price the alcohol isn't as high as the other two resorts and the food I is more buffet style. Yes. Now, you know, like anything else, you can purchase uh, food at a different price, too. I mean... We always you, did that. Yeah. You, you can go into their steakhouse and order yet a better quality steak. At, it's a very reasonable amount, too. Yeah. So, Desire Riviera Maya. And they're all... Well, they're on the beach and everything. And you can literally, literally drive to each one in a couple of minutes. Yes. I think Desire Pearl and Riviera Maya are like 20, 25 minutes apart. Riviera Maya is our personal favorite. Yeah. Now, they say that Desire Pearl has top shelf alcohol. But we didn't find anything that wasn't top shelf in our... I guess maybe there's a different echelon between <laughs> us and top tier. But they had Don Julio's. They had mm -hmm. all the premium alcohols that we normally drink, but maybe that's a good thing because I don't know if I went to got a higher, then I'd go broke buying it at home. Yes, right, <laughs> right. So Desire Riviera Maya, they have pool parties, they have an entertainment crew, they have different nightly cocktail entertainment. You meet at a bar out by the disco and it's after dinner. Yes. And they usually will bring in local acts um, from guitar players to full-on bands to DJs. Mm -hmm. To dancers. Yes. And then you go from there into the nightclub and then they have a full-on show in the nightclub and then the nightclub starts. Now what Bunny was talking about is they have... Um, a buffet style restaurant. Yes. They have their grill and mm -hmm. then they have the steakhouse. Yes. They so, have, like, they have a teppanyaki grill also. They have a teppanyaki grill too. Now, that one requires reservations and it's, you've got to get your reservations in fast for that one. Right. We're a steak and potato type of people. So, for us, it was steakhouse every night. Yeah. Now, the steakhouse served amazing dinners. We always went off the menu because. I like filet mignon and lobster. Bunny like filet mignon. Bunny's filet mignon, now this is pre-COVID, now we're after COVID. I think it was like $10 or $15. Something like that. To do my filet mignon and lobster was like $20 more. Uh, and they just add it on to your bill at the end of the Right, week. so it's very reasonable when you consider what you're getting. You're in a five-star dining mm -hmm. restaurant 
and we're spending basically 30, I think it was 35 bucks. Yes. And I got filet mignon and lobster and you got filet mignon every single night we were there. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very reasonably priced if you're, you know, if you don't want to eat what's on the menu for that night, then you can have your other options. Exactly. Now let's don't forget about that big jacuzzi they have up there. They have a rooftop jacuzzi that'll fit 100 plus people. Yes. And a swim up bar. I think the jacuzzi might be bigger than their pool. I think it is. <laughs> it's and it's rooftop. Big. But it the stairs big. are at like a 45 degree <laughs> angle. Yes. So don't get too drunk up there because it's easy to do. <laughs> Ask how we know. I think I drank a whole bottle of Don Julio up there by myself. Yeah. yeah I had to be carried to the room. Yeah. Yeah. We need a little help. We need a little bit of help. <laughs> now, we have yet to actually go to Desire Pearl. We hear it's a beautiful, amazingly beautiful resort. But we also know that a lot of people that will stay at Desire Pearl will come over to Desire Riviera Maya because people like us like to party and have a lot of fun. Right. So it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, so many people love Desire Pearl. Like I said, we love Riviera Maya, so for us, we've never ventured out of that comfort zone. And they have everything from inexpensive rooms to uh, passion suites that you can rent whatever your budget allows you. Mm -hmm. And definitely, we it's one of our favorite destinations, Cancun, because we love the food. Yes, the, and we do love the food. The staff there, you would think that they didn't own a mower or a weed eater or anything. You walk out there and they're cutting the grass a lot of time. I mean, now it might be different, but they, they were cutting the grass with scissors. Right, and it's so incredibly quiet. Um, their ocean view rooms are amazing. Yes, and the staff is, I mean, it's so top notch. They call it the desire experience. Yes. And I had one chef and he, we were talking the first morning that I was there on how much I loved um, breakfast tacos or any type of uh, Mexican food. So every morning he had something different prepared for me. And this was in the buffet. Yeah. And then one day in the buffet, we were sitting there um, eating chips and uh, guacamole. And all of a sudden, one of the waiters comes by and says... I'll be right back. And he went and got everything and handmade a special, like a guacamole, sour cream type of dip for us personally. Yes. That wasn't up there. But, I mean, they do it for all their guests, but that was pretty impressive. Right. Just the, the amount of care that they take in their customers and in their jobs, it just makes the whole desire experience wonderful yeah i mean they got ashtrays throughout the resort and in the ashtray is stamped the desire logo so you know i just thought there wasn't any really sm real smokers there <laughs> I w i'm not a smoker but we happened to be standing there when somebody put a cigarette out and i went oh okay i finally seen a messed up ashtray and before i could turn around one of the staff came and scooped out the cigarette Wiped it all down and re-stamped the, the Desire logo. <laughs> I, was and, like, I was like, where'd that guy come from? Yeah, I mean, it was <laughs> fast. And one thing at the Desire is if you are, well, this would probably go with Temptation and Pearl, probably especially Pearl, but Riviera Maya, where we always stayed, you need anything. You make a phone call, there is no delay. Your request is immediately carried out Fast. I mean, because that you're on your time and they're on your time, not you're not on their time. No, absolutely so not. So it's a total different level for our guests that want that extra VIP feeling, desire, either, either the two desires are the way to go. If you want just a great vacation and a party atmosphere, all three desires are the way to go. And if you go to Desire Pearl, you can actually go to Desire Riviera Maya yes. or Temptation included in your stay. If you stay at Desire Riviera Maya, you can go to Desire or T Temptation as part of your stay. 
if you go to Temptation, unfortunately, you would have to pay day fees to go to the other two resorts. Right, right. So definitely, if you want a top-notch VIP treatment, like you said, Pearl. Pearl is going to be the top of the line. Yep. Riviera Maya is a great party place. Also, impeccable, impeccable service. And from what I hear, because we have not been to Temptations ourselves, we hear that if you want a party and you want to let your hair down for a very economical price, then Temptations is where you want to be. And they're always running specials at Temptations. Yes. Um, Desire, Riviera Maya, and Pearl are clothing optional. T Temptation is topless optional. Yes. So, definitely, Tom's Trips has been booking adult travel for 27 years. Call the phone number below, 800-285-0853, or visit tomstrips.com. Click on Resorts, and you can find all the resorts and cruises, including Hedonism, Bliss Cruise, Temptation Cruise, yes. Desire Cruise, Desire Resort and Temptation Resort. Yes. We book all of them. We can take care of it for you. So yeah. like I said, if you have any questions, anything that we can answer for you, please give us a call. And me and Michelle will be more than happy to answer any questions and to get you booked right up. All right. So hopefully we will see you at a resort in one of your travels. Yes, absolutely. Until next time, we'll we will see you later. See you soon. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Have a good one.